Prince William is reportedly furious after a perceived slight on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, sources have claimed, adding yet another chapter to the ongoing tensions between the royal brothers. According to insiders, the Princess of Wales took offence at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for referring to his wife as Kate, rather than Catherine, in a get well soon message following her recent cancer diagnosis. I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. Friends of the royal couple revealed that this seemingly small detail struck a deep nerve with William, who felt that the use of the name Kate was not just casual, but a deliberate slight. The insiders shared that William's frustration stemmed from the fact that Catherine is the name she prefers and the one she uses in her official and personal interactions. It's how she introduces herself and is the name that her close friends, family, and most importantly, Prince William himself use when referring to her. Although the Princess of Wales was widely known as Kate during her school and university years, she made a conscious decision to transition to her full name, Catherine, as she stepped into royal life, particularly after marrying Prince William. This isn't just a matter of personal preference, it's also about respecting the identity she has chosen as part of her role within the royal family. Given this, William's friends believe that Harry and Meghan's decision to use the name Kate in their public statement was not just a minor oversight, but an entirely unnecessary and deliberate irritation. The statement in question, released by the Sussexes in March 2024, after the Princess of Wales publicly announced her cancer diagnosis, read, we wish health and healing for Kate and the family, and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. On the surface, the message seems supportive and kind. However, the use of the name Kate has been interpreted by those close to William as a subtle but pointed jab during an already challenging time for the Prince and his family. One friend of the Prince and the Princess of Wales remarked, the fact that Harry and Meghan were unable to bring themselves to use her chosen name even when they were sending her a get well soon message after a cancer diagnosis was noted. William takes offense at people calling Catherine Kate because she is asked to be known as Catherine. It's a fairly simple wish to respect. I'm sure Meghan wouldn't like it if William started publicly calling her Meghan Markle. This friend further explained that while this issue might seem trivial to outsiders, it's one of those small but significant details that pushes William's buttons. And during a sensitive period, as his wife battles cancer, this particular irritation seemed especially unnecessary and perhaps even calculated. The insider also speculated whether the private card sent by Harry and Meghan began with Dear Kate, a detail that would have likely further aggravated William. Another friend of the couple echoed these sentiments, stating, no one's saying it's responsible for all the trouble, but deliberately calling someone by a name they don't like is just rude. If Harry and Meghan were serious about healing their issue, a good first step would be to call her Catherine. The reaction from William and those close to him might explain why the Prince and Princess of Wales did not publicly respond to the Sussexes' well wishes. The ongoing tension between the two couples has been widely reported, with many royal observers pointing to incidents like this as evidence of a deep rift that still exists. Now, while some may view this as a minor issue, it does highlight the complexities and sensitivities involved in royal relationships, particularly when personal preferences are overlooked in the public eye. This also comes after the Sussexes have been criticized for their Columbia trip, with Angela Levin revealing her thoughts to GB News on the matter. Uh, Angela, of course, you um, have had a, a nice history with Prince Harry, at least. You wrote his biography and, and so on and so on. What do you make of this tour? In Colombia, what's it all about, really? It's all a bit strange, isn't it? Well, I think it's a nonsense. I think they're playing royals. I think it's extremely rude, and I and I think that the king should now do something about it. Particularly that um, Harry was told to apologise for slaves. Now you can't, he can't get mixed up in all that. It's absolutely not. They've gone there not representing anybody with no power. They call them. They like to be thought of as um, just sort of global global brand. Mm. That's what they call themselves. So it's just it's just nonsense. Who, I mean, who, the who's vice. Asked, who's asked them to apologise for slavery? Local. The, the, the vice president took Harry to one side and asked him if he will really 
do that. I mean, that's extraordinary, no. isn't no, it? No, he can't. You know, well, she's very keen on repatriation of, of slaves. Um, and she saw Megan on the Netflix, a six-hour Netflix, where you could fall asleep 10,000 times and was full of untruths. And she said, we share the same ideals and goals. So they, she thinks that she's got people there that will really help the slaves of three, four hundred years ago. Now, this is very, very dangerous because they mustn't start getting their feet on this. And it's, it's just um, not allowed. You just can't do it. And so I think they've really got to do something very much about it. And it's quite interesting that the vice president didn't think very much about the Netflix thing, where Meghan did this terrible um, curtsy and mimicked that right out. Yes. And, and lost them a lot of supporters and said with a squeaky voice, hello, your majesty. Yeah. I mean, it was terrible. But this time she taught, taught two little girls how to curtsy to her. Now, the hypocrisy is, is beyond anything you can think of. The whole thing is hypo hypocritical mm. because he's extremely worried about his family, very anxious, won't bring to them to the UK, and, but he will take them to uh, a way from, in a very dangerous country where they had 3,000 police looking after them and 14 cars to make sure they weren't damaged in any way. What do you think the King's thinking about all this? He's probably watching it from, you know... From well, I think home. he's very busy with looking after himself and doing all the work he has. I know they don't look at these things straight away. The A's look at it and then they discuss it. There is going to be a discussion, though, in Scotland about, um, about things, about the royal family, and I think that I do hope they'll do something about Harry and Meghan because each time you think they've been doing something terrible, they do something worse. This is worse than when they were in Africa um, and you can't actually see them going through and pretending they are royal. All the things that they did were what Meghan wanted. She had a list and it was approved of. So all this nonsense that they did, which is actually, I can do it better than anybody else in the royal family. Yeah. What would happen if Harry or Meghan did go rogue or, or rogue? -er? They already are Exactly, rogue. if they really pushed uh, the boat out and said, do you know what, I apologise. If Harry said, I apologise for my family's links to slavery, where would that leave the king, the monarchy? Well, Britain? it's a very difficult position, isn't it? You then say, but they have no power. They have no position. Harry has stepped down from the royal family in 2020. 20, yes, that's right. And, and so, therefore, you can't listen to them. But you can then have to have this argument where they say, yes, but he promised, he did say, he's your son. You know, it's very tricky. Mm. I think it's very, very hot and dangerous. Uh, and just briefly talking about the king, he is in, um, well, he's in a, in a massive row, I guess, with his brother, Prince Andrew, yes. who's refusing to move out of Royal Lodge, a big sort of um, cottage slash mansion in Windsor Great Royal Park. Uh, what's going on there? Well, it, it's got 30 rooms. A minute rooms. left, by the way. Yeah, 30 rooms in terrible condition. He has it there, but he hasn't got any money. King Charles pays three million to have people looking after him, protecting him, gives him four million a year so that he can live. Um, but <laughs> yeah, but Andrew won't leave this home. He wants to stay there. Now, lots of people have to downsize. He refuses. Um, it's now a big fight. After October, none of his protection people will be there. No money. So the king pay, gives him money to live off. Mm. Let, lets him live in uh, Royal Lodge, mm. and uh, but now Andrew's refusing to go. So the king has said, right, no, no protection, no security. But, but, so Andrew is essentially he's a, a squatter in Royal Lodge now, is he? Yeah, he will be. No, he's not a squatter because he signed an, um, a, 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 a thing that he could stay there till yeah. later. But he had to do um, painting it every two or three. Uh, years and he had to look after it and it's a terrible state we see pictures they're right. shocking water coming through the, the ceiling and in a terrible condition goodness it needs me. a minimum of seven million pounds repairing goodness me well families eh Angela who'd uh, yes. who'd have them who'd pick them <laughs> thank you so much Angela Levin okay. um, these incidents underscore how small actions can carry significant weight especially within a family that is already under intense scrutiny and dealing with personal challenges. As this latest incident unfolds, 
It does remain to be seen how it will impact the already strained relationship between the Waleses and the Sussexes. Will this perceived slight further widen the gap? Or could it serve as a catalyst for addressing deeper issues within the family? For now, both Kensington Palace and the Sussexes' press secretary have remained silent on the matter, with GB News requesting comment. However, the story has already sparked considerable discussion and speculation among royal watchers and the public alike, adding yet another layer to the ongoing saga of the British royal family. Daniel Smith, GB News.